today's video, we're going to be taking this plain white letter grill and turning it into something so much sexier. Strap in. It's going to be real exciting. All right, so after a thorough washing, uh, which is hard to tell uh, that it's actually been done since it's the middle of the winter here, um, first thing I wanted to do was make sure that I got any residue of wax or anything else off the, uh, the actual Bronco letters themselves. So I'm just going to be using a little isopropyl alcohol just to kind of clean it off. All right, now that I've wiped it down with the isopropyl alcohol, I'm just going to come back in. Let me switch hands here. Uh, I'm just gonna come back in with a dry with a dry paper towel and just get off any little bits that might have been left uh, just because I don't want to eat up the uh, adhesive from the actual letters themselves. Now, one thing I was thinking about as I was doing this was that potentially uh, you know some of the the edges here like you can kind of see they've got depth to them um, needed to make sure I don't. I gotta relook at the the letters as I pull them out I, right before I stick them on, but I, I don't think there's any uh, 3M adhesive on the edges there. Uh, but just in case, I just wanted to clean those edges up also, uh, just in case there was a need for the uh, 3M adhesive to stick to those edges. I don't think there is, but you can never be too safe, you know. All right, so I think I've got this wiped down pretty good. This is the last time I'm gonna see it with white letters. Let's get into that next. All right, so now I'm gonna be using the uh, cool little tweezers they, they sent me to remove the, uh, the backing off of all that 3M tape. Now this is gonna be exceptionally difficult for me to do one-handed. I'll see if I can't set something up here. Let's see. So through the use of the little Bronco toolkit that they send you, I, uh, I managed to tip the phone off the edge of the seat enough to be able to film here. So here we go. I'm gonna try to do this from like a top-down perspective. Uh, let's see. I mean, again, I kind of mentioned in the last video that this oh that was a lot easier than I thought. Um, I apologize for the shaking. I'm not normally this uh, shaky, however. I just got done washing the vehicle at a car wash and uh you know it's like 30 something degrees out here so um, uh, things aren't working as well as they should um but anyway uh, in the last video i mentioned uh i don't know what the hell i mentioned in the last video so anyway here we are um peeling these off all right well i don't know what that was but my vehicle just made a weird noise all right, so we now have all the adhesives pulled off the back of the B. Let's go put the B on. I keep hearing this weird. All right, so the way it was shown was literally just kind of come place it right over. Uh, yep, that is a perfect fit. Uh, all right, let's see. Do I leave the R white? Maybe get a red for the R? Who knows? We'll just go with all of them for right now. So I think uh, that's the last one I'm going to film until the end. It, there's not a whole lot to see in this. So we'll see you back in a couple seconds. So something else I wanted to say here was, uh, man, I can't tell you. I, you know, I made made fun of this uh, set of tweezers in the previous video, saying it's probably the cheapest set of tweezers I've ever seen in my life. But man, I got to tell you, what a lifesaver these things have been. Uh, I guarantee you, I would not have thought to use tweezers. I would have been sitting there trying to figure out how to get these things off with my bare hands. And I would have gotten so angry that I couldn't even think straight. But man... Look at that. It just comes right off. Thanks, man. All right, so I've gotten two of the letters on so far. And something I've noticed as I've been doing this that I thought might be interesting to mention to people. Um, so I have the Outer Banks package. So that gives me the grill that you see here. Uh, it's not my favorite grill. I actually really don't like it. I would prefer to have the um, the Badlands grill or the Wild Track. Um, but something I wanted to point out was as I was putting these on, 
uh, something I noticed was, you know, you put them on, of course it's 3M adhesive, so you want to push on it pretty good, but you can kind of see, well, I don't know if you can, maybe my hands are too shaky here, but there's quite a bit of put or movement here with the grill. Um, as I was putting on the R over here, it you could start to hear the plastic kind of creak. And uh, so just be mindful that possibly as you're putting them on, uh, don't push them on too hard. You may just break right through it. All right, so one of the things that I really wanted to point out with these was, as I said in the previous video, I uh, originally had thought that I was gonna go with the sticker fab sticker overlays on these letters, but man, this is so much better. Um, the problem with the stickers was you would see, like on the front here, you would see whatever color you had put there, but then on the sides, you would still have this whole section back here would be white, and I thought it looked kind of weird. So with these, you can see these go all the way back. You can't see any of the white anywhere. Man, I just really like the look of that. Uh, it's actually made me kind of like the look of the... Uh, the grill but there it is uh so a link to these letters uh will be in the description below despite having said that in the previous video i definitely forgot to do that we'll see if it falls off in three hours uh, we're about to get hit with a bunch of snow here in the next couple hours so i'll do an update here in probably a couple of weeks or maybe a month or so uh, just see how they're holding on it's, uh... so i think that's going to be the end of this video if you've made it this far Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you stick around here on doing Bronco things, uh, you know, you may find us doing more Bronco things. There'll be some more modifications being done and uh, maybe some actual adventures in the future. Until then, thank you and take care. <laughs>